being here, I really appreciate it. Uh, special thanks to Steve for extending my time to uh, 12 minutes. Uh, we have a lot to cover. Yeah. Okay, we're on. All right. Uh, today we're going to talk about this new product, uh, Encoder Flex 1024. Uh, this is a brand new product designed from the ground up. Uh, over a lot of uh, research and a lot of customer feedback uh, to improve this product. There we go. So here we go. So uh, this product, as I mentioned, uh, it's a dual purpose product and it can do not only position monitoring, but shaft speed monitoring as well. And it's not limited to a single output. You have three, uh, those being four to 20 milliamp, quadrature, pulsed output, and Modbus RTU, all in the same device. The other uh, unique thing is it's not fixed as far as its output uh, pulse count. You can set that anywhere up to 1,024, so you can optimize the device for your application. And the UL, uh, CSA UL Class II approval is in process and will be available soon. Uh, some other unique features, again, this is a, a totally new design, so it's extremely lightweight and compact. It's only a fraction of the, uh, the size, the weight, and, and real importantly, the projection from the shaft end where it's mounted uh, over traditional designs. Um, further, it's all stainless steel construction and it's sealed. Uh, you don't need to open the device uh, for calibration. That's done externally. You can see there with the, uh, the dew pole magnet. And it's got a convenient status indicator, so you can always tell the status of the device without opening it. Some of the applications for uh, position feedback are slide gates and valves, and either of those can be a partial, a whole turn, multi-turn with the same device. You don't need to have separate hardware for different types of applications. Distributors as well, and um, for the multi-turn application, this is uh, a hard to believe, but this will actually calibrate up to half a million rotations. So if you've got some really fine gearing, or uh, real fine control applications, this can take care of it. And another really important feature is it will retain its position after power loss. <coughs> some of the, uh, the speed applications or shaft speed applications include dryers, bin sweeps, mixers, but importantly, it's any slow moving conveyor to take advantage of that high pulse count and the quadrature output to know which direction it's turning in. And if that's all not enough, this has a built in, there we go, uh, a built in user interface to it. So with this, you can get a real time display of your data. You can uh, assist with calibration of the device and you can also configure the uh, resolution of the device and some diagnostics for the device as well. So a lot of this can be done back in your control room. So we have a live demo of this on a slide gate in booth 918. Come on by and thank you all for coming. <laughs>